to bring him praise. Come all and tune your hearts to sing to the morning star of grace. From the shifting shadows of the earth, we will lift our eyes to him. Where steady arms of mercy reach to gather children in. Rejoice, rejoice, let every tongue rejoice. One heart, one voice, O Church of Christ, rejoice. Come those whose joy is morning sun, and those we Welcome. Good morning. This is our contemporary service of worship, our fourth Sunday at 10 o'clock for the 26th of April. I'd like to thank Paul Roast, Director of North Breckland Youth for Christ, who's prepared the talk with video on behalf of this charity, which St Mary's Church supports as our mission for April. I would also like to thank Reverend Kyla, who's prepared the prayers we'll be using, as she is our mission link for this charity. A moment of quiet before we say together the collect for Sunday the 26th of April, the third Sunday for Easter. Risen Christ, Christ you, you filled, filled your, your disciples, disciples with boldness and fresh hope. Strengthen us also to proclaim your risen life and fill us with your peace to the glory of God the Father. Amen. We're going to sing the song, How Great is Our God. This 
splendor of the king clothed in majesty let all the earth rejoice all the earth rejoice he wraps himself in light and darkness tries to hide and trembles at his voice and trembles at his voice how great is our god sing with me how great is our god and all will see how great how great is our god And age to age he stands And time is in his hands Beginning and the end Beginning and the end But God had three in one Father, Spirit, Son The Lion and the Lamb the lion and the lamb how great is our god sing with me how great is our god and all will see how great how great is our god how great We come to our confession. Let us return to the Lord our God and say to him, Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We're not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who once were dead but now have life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God, who is both power and love, forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. When I was vicar in my last church, we had a young worship band, and this was one of their favourite songs. They're all married now, so that tells you how time flies, but they were 
in their young teens then, and it's called Cannons. It's falling from the clouds. Strange and lovely sound. I hear it in the thunder and the rain. It's ringing in the skies like cannons in the night. The music of the universe plays. You are holy, great and I became vicar of St Andrew's in High Wycombe in 1997 and we stayed there for 10 years. It was originally a small church in the industrial town centre, they make chairs in High Wycombe. And as the town grew eastwards in the 50s and 60s, St Andrew's moved and there was a, a lovely new building, a brick building which was built spacious and light. And then as the church grew even more, a sideways extension was built onto the original church and that became our main area for worship. And the original church became our gathering area, our social area for before and after the service. But the sanctuary of the original church became a prayer area, the chapel area of the new St Andrews and to mark the extension and also the ministry of one of my predecessors, Canon John Hughes, a young artist called Ruth Ward was asked to create a window and the passage, the theme which she chose was the Valley of Dry Bones and the dead being raised 
to new life. She was using that reading to imagine the resurrection, not just of the Lord, but of all people. And it's in three or four sections, and you begin at the bottom, and you see simply skeletons, bones in the earth. And then you see those bones beginning to take shape, and one by one to come to life. And then in the section which is part of our meditation for today, you see families reunited, people on a journey towards the daylight, towards the kingdom of God, and they're following along the river of life. My name is Paul Roast, I'm the director of North Britain Youth for Christ and I've been invited to tell you a little bit about the work of Youth for Christ here in this area. For those of you who don't know, Youth for Christ is a Christian youth work organisation that exists to see young people's lives changed by Jesus. That is what we're about and that looks different across the country um, but I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, what that looks like here at the moment and where I'd like that to go in the future. But first I'd like to read a little bit from Ezekiel 37. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is gone and we are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, O oh, my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves, and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you and you will live, and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. So that passage is taken from Ezekiel, um, and it's a part of Ezekiel that's actually really quite famous. Um, but it's where God takes Ezekiel to his valley that's absolutely full of these dry, dead bones. And uh, God asks Ezekiel uh, whether the bones can live and um, then asks Ezekiel to sort of prophesy over these bones and they start coming together and we see flesh come on them. Um, and then uh, uh, God asks Ezekiel to uh, prophesy about breathing life into them and God breathes life and, and we see this vast army of people come together. And then God says, actually, this is the house of Israel. This is what I want to see. I want to see them living. I want to see them breathing. Uh, and, 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 and the power of God is going to achieve this. Um, and I think it's an amazing passage. And the reason I've shared it with you is because uh, when I started at North Breton Youth for Christ, I was praying um, one time in, in our offices, which is uh, based at St. Nick's in Deerham. And I looked out the window and I saw the graveyard um, of the church there. And um, I felt God remind me of this passage and say that actually these young people, they're like dry bones. They're like um, that valley. They're, there's no life there. But actually, God has called us as youth for Christ to come to speak life. As he asked uh, Ezekiel to prophesy and bring life, he, he's calling us forwards to breathe life, to speak out his words. And, and he will bring his power and uh, bring life, to see the, their lives transformed, to see breath come into them and to see their lives absolutely changed and transformed. And I think that's really exciting and that is what I want to see. So having said all of that, what does that look like? One area I'm passionate about and would love to see develop is schools work. We've been doing a lot of mentoring uh, currently and we're actually looking to release that off to a new organisation uh, so that we can concentrate more on chaplaincy and delivery of RE lessons within schools. Um, my hope and vision for that is that young people have a real grounding in the Christian faith and who Jesus is, as well as being able to provide uh, pastoral care and spiritual direction uh, for young people. I'd love to see something like that also here in Watton at Wayland Academy.
Another area I'm passionate about is the local church. And actually where I see Youth for Christ fitting in with the local church is we as a youth organisation with the expertise in youth work can come alongside churches and say, actually, how can we help you reach young people? How can we resource you? How can we equip you? How can we work together to see young people's lives changed by Jesus? We need the local church on board with us. We are not church, but we love to work with church to help them fulfil their potential in reaching young people in their area. Could you journey with us? We need people just like you in order to see our mission of young people's lives being changed by Jesus. There are four main ways in which you can support us. Number one is prayer. We heard in Ezekiel passage how the valley of dry bones was transformed and completely changed when God sent his power to bring life and breath into those bones. We need the power of God behind the work that we do. Number two, if you have an email address, could you join our mailing list? That way you'll get regular emails telling you about the work that we do and ways in which you can support and get involved. Number three, would you be able to give financially? Just a small amount each month can make a huge difference to the work that we do. And number four, could you champion our work? Could you talk about the work of Youth for Christ? Do you know people who would be interested in youth work and are passionate about young people and passionate about Jesus? Would you be able to champion the work of Youth for Christ to them and let them know and connect them in with us? Thank you for taking the time to listen and hear about the work of Youth for Christ in your area. I do hope I've given you some encouragement about things that are going on and where we hope to go in the future, but also given you some thought about ways in which you could maybe support and journey with us. So thank you so much for your time and I look forward to meeting some of you in the near future. Thank you so much to Paul. We're going to sing a song, These Are the Days of Elijah, which resonates particularly with what we've heard him say and the reading as we have the words, and these are the days of Ezekiel, the dry bones becoming as flesh. Declaring the word of the Lord And these are
faith together in the words of the creed. Do you believe and trust in God the Father who made all things? We, we believe, believe and, and trust, trust in, in him. him. Do you believe and trust in his son Jesus Christ who redeemed the world? We, we believe, believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in his Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God? We, we believe, believe and trust, trust in him. him. This is the faith of the church. This, this is, is our faith. faith. We, we believe, believe and trust in, in one God, Father, Father Son and, and Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Kyla will lead us in prayer. Let us pray. When I say God of power, Please respond, breathe life into this, your community of love. God of power, breathe life into this, your community of love. Loving God, we know that you hold all of your children in your loving arms. We pray you watch over and protect the children and young families in our community. Keep them safe during this time of lockdown. We ask this in your son's precious name. Amen. Living God, we pray for North Breckland Youth for Christ, working to see young people's lives changed by Christ. We bring before you their leaders, staff and volunteers. We give thanks for their mentors and we commend their vision to you for chaplaincy and RE teaching in schools, that each young person may have a grounding in Christian faith. God of power, breathe life into this, your community of love. Loving God, we know and trust that you hear our prayers. We pray for everyone affected by the coronavirus. We pray for our leaders, seeking to find the right way to lead us through these difficult times. We give thanks for all our NHS workers, for our emergency services, for our teachers, shop workers, for our post workers, delivery drivers and refuse collectors, for everyone working hard to keep our community running. We pray for your protection. God of power, 
Breathe life into this, your community of love. Living God, we bring before you all those we know who are sick and those who are caring for them. We pray particularly this day for the lonely and the isolated, for those who have no one to help them. May we as neighbours notice those who need our help and bring your light and love into their lives. Let us share your strength as we journey together through these unprecedented times. God of power, breathe life into this, your community of love. Loving God, we pray for ourselves, your church and people in Watton. May you continue to guide us, to teach us how to come alongside others, to share your love, to work with community in reaching out in your light, to show faith in action, living and breathing in the power of the Holy Spirit. God of power, breathe life into this, your community of love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We continue in prayer as we sing How Deep the Father's Love for Us.
We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And before the blessing and our final song, I'd just like to say that you are all very much in my and our prayers as we continue in this time together. Keep safe, keep well. And maybe you've got a special anniversary or a birthday at this time. In 1975, on this day, my sister got married. I was her bridesmaid and she lost her husband a few years ago. Anniversaries can be times of deep reflection. And I encourage you to know that God is with you in all of those times. And perhaps things haven't worked out. Today would have been my sister's granddaughter's christening, baptism, baby Arabella. But things are sometimes put on hold. We need to just hang on to the fact that God hangs on to us. Our times are in his hands. And so, may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. And our closing song. Lord, reign in me. Over all the earth, you reign on high. Every mountain stream, every sunset sky. But my one request, Lord, my only is that you reign in me again Lord, reign in me Reign in your power Over all my dreams In my darkest hour You are the Lord Of all I am So won't you reign in me again Oh
mountains and part the sea You control time and craft eternity You place the stars, you can fan flames You can do anything With only one life You gave your son as a sacrifice You hold the world in the palm of your hand You can do anything You can do anything Everything is in your hand Come.